Hello everybody, Tim from Boatshed Yacht Brokers and we're here today on this uh, 1997 built 1998 commissioned Moody S31 for a look around her interior so that you can see how she's laid out, what there is and if she might be a space that you'd like to occupy. So uh, we'll start looking after as you can see we're looking at the companionway, nice and easy to get up and down, plenty of space widthwise as well and at the bottom you can see we've got a section there where two steps do unscrew withdraw and allow you access to the front of the engine now that does take a minute or so because you have to unscrew the four screws but um, once they're in they're really really nice and secure and the current owner does prefer the access from the back of the engine which is uh, a little bit easier so uh, nice and easy to check at sea but uh, you've got two access points anyway first thing you come to as you come down the steps is to the the heads on the right hand side so really conveniently placed for the crew when they're coming up and down to use the heads Nice white compartment. We've got two opening windows there. Very nice. We have storage on the starboard side, a small sink with a bit of storage underneath as well. And if I just turn around here, we can see we've got the uh, the manual head and just nesting the sink there. Also, we've got the, the shower attachment. The entrance to the head is a little bit uh, congested or a little bit smaller than usual because of this backing box here. That's because of this uh, navigation instrument on the front there. So something just to be aware of and just to, uh, just to shimmy around. So let's close the door on that. So here we go. We're now going to look at the chart table or the, nav the navigation station. As you can see, you perch on the end of the starboard berth looking aft. We've got a nice size chart table with the uh, little stowages etc we've got room for storage underneath as well we've got a small cupboard underneath and around this boat you'll see various knickknacks like this which uh, appear to be made by her owner who i know is a skilled woodworker so there are one or two improvements here and there which i really like now inset onto the bulkhead here as you can see if i can get it off with one hand there we go there's your raymarine unit very nice indeed and uh, really easy to see from the helm we've got uh, the raymarine unit here too whoops that's the, uh, the microphone coming off there we go i'll take the lid off that so we can see it and i'll just put it to one side there we go so we can see there we've got the handheld vhf we've got the uh, dsc vhf and then just looking above the um chart table you can see we've got the electrics panel so we've got uh, fuel level water level all the various electric uh, switches that we would need battery voltage and again a little bit about the shore supply there if we just move along the bulkhead uh, down here where you can see we've got to the ais unit we've got the stereo windows breaker 12 volt 12 volt charging etc and uh, just finished off by the uh, by the uh, pressure goes there also in the barometer so very nice and very compact and uh, everything in its place which is what i like about this boat so i've just moved back a little bit to give you a view of the starboard sofa nice and long nice and wide no real storage beneath because most of it's taken up by the uh, the water tank under there as it is on the port side we do have some storage on this on the outboard side though so we've got the the bulkheads are nicely finished with uh, wood and as you can see the, the chain plates do make their way through but they're, they're nice and shiny and not too obtrusive and obtrusive and maybe even something to hang on to but uh, plenty of space behind there but nothing behind the actual cushions themselves but um, all re really rather good we've got nice windows down here we've got a hatch in here we've got uh, grab rails inset into the uh, into the deck head there as well as when we come down the companionway here so there's always something to hold on to we have curtains and if I just look forward we can see we've got a nice fold out saloon table nice big one with some stowage inside too so uh, let's move forwards make our way to the forward cabin and as you can see quite a conventional v-berth setup so we've got the wooden hull lining there we've got the the bare deck head so that's all bare grp so nice and uh, easy to keep clean no sagging headlining a hatch to let light and air in or out etc and we can see that the uh, the aftermarket added windlass there that's been left exposed and i think that's because the owner would prefer to be able to see it and its workings and get to it if needs be that's what he told me beneath the bunks or berths here we've got lots of stowage forwards and port and starboard and as you can see at the moment we've got the infill fitted which gives you a full double we've got cupboards either side so one port one starboard for your knickknacks or your bits and pieces and also a shelf and i just noticed on the starboard side there we do have a spare tiller which is very nice so I'll just turn around and we'll focus on the port side of the cabin. In fact, I'll walk aft slightly so you can see better. And again, nice long berth, nice and wide as well. I think that would look very comfortable. Stowage outboard, 
Water tank underneath, a little bit of room for bits and pieces underneath, but not too much. But as you can see, her current owner has kept a few bits and pieces outboard as well, so that's rather nice. And then to sort of match the uh, the line of the electrics panel and uh, instruments on the left-hand side, we've got a row of cupboards above the galley and the port sofa here. So loads of nice little cupboards for your cups and saucers, your uh, salt and pepper, etc., etc. The galley is a very conventional L shape, based at the bottom of the, com the companionway, so nice and easy to pass the uh, cups of tea up and the empty cups down, etc. And also nice and easy to pass food to anybody who might be occupying the saloon or the saloon table. We have a nice big deep square sink here, that's really lovely. We've got the bin locker here, just folds out. We've got a cutlery drawer. We've got uh, a cupboard there which gives access to the refrigeration machinery. And there are the fridges here, which is a fully working one. If I just lift the lid, I can do it one handed. And there we go, nice deep fridge there. Very good, just close the lid on that and uh, just move back so that we can see the cooker. So we've got two burners there. Looks like we have uh, an oven and grill, very nice indeed. So you should be able to do most things you want to do cookery wise on board. And that does lead to the aft cabin. So the aft cabin, if somebody's in the galley, is going to be a little bit obscured, the access to it, but not too bad. We just politely ask the, uh, the chefs to move out the way, don't we? But uh, moving in there, you can see we've got a, a nice uh, vestibule, which you could close the door on and uh, stand there and get changed or sit down and get changed on the conveniently located seat we have a cupboard on the port side we have stowage on the port side we've got an opening vent there as well so that's always going to help keep it nice down here and as i walk in uh, probably about five foot nine headspace but i'll just drop down because that's what you need to do to get into the bed so you've got a really really lovely wide bed here the starboard side plenty of sitting room no problem at all and somewhere to lean back on port side uh, I think plenty of room to sit on as well, although obviously you can see where the port cockpit locker moulding just uh, does encroach into the headroom down there. But I think realistically you're only ever going to have your legs down there, so no problem at all. But acres and acres of bed there, which is fabulous for somebody like me. Now, I mentioned the uh, the slightly longer access or the time it takes to get through to the engine compartment uh, down here all we need to do is pull this cover off lift the lid and you've got immediate access there so you could look into there check your engine over while it's running whilst the companionway isn't impeded in, in any way at all so uh, very good and also when it's closed you have a shelf to use too so this has been tim from berkshire drop brokers just taking you for a quick tour and a few observations about the interior of this moody s31 if you'd like any more information just go to berkshirebrighton.com for lots more pictures videos and virtual reality thanks for watching and have a fantastic day